Hey dolls, so in this video I'm going to be going over my Accutane Holy Grail products. These are the products that I cannot live without while on Accutane. I know I have um, an Accutane Essential Products video that I posted a few months ago right when I started Accutane, but now that I've been on it and I only have like a month left, these are the products that like I wouldn't be able to live without. Like literally without these I would die. So I have some skincare and some makeup products, just some things that I would like to show you that I think would be beneficial to anyone who is going on Accutane. So let's just get right started. Let's just get right started, that's not really sentence. Let's just get started and look at the products. The first holy grail product that everyone needs, and I'm putting this first because it's the most important, is Aquaphor. Aquaphor is like Vaseline on steroids. This stuff will moisturize anything, prevent anything from flaking, it will do anything. I mostly use this in like little tubes, where are they? I would mostly just use the little tubes and carry these around and use it on my lips, but I got one of these for my nightstand, um, and I put it where I have um, eczema, I put it on my forehead where I get eczema, I put it on my lips, my eyes would flake sometimes, I don't know why they just got dry, I would put it there, anywhere that needs like intense hydration. Some people who go on Accutane get flaky skin all over their face and stuff. Put this on, I know it's crazy to sound like putting the idea of putting Vaseline all over your face, let alone um, Aquaphor, but when you're on Accutane you get a free pass. If you put this all over your face, it will stop that flaking because it will give you the most intense hydration and moisture that you could ever ask for. So Aquaphor is really important for anyone on Accutane. Next I have moisturizer. Um, the one I would recommend, like if you only want to buy one moisturizer, you're not into the whole daytime, nighttime thing, get set. Cetaphil, um, and just get the moisturizing lotion. There's like one that's a step higher, but I feel like that's pretty much unnecessary for anyone because it's like apparently like crazy moisture. You don't need anything crazy, but this is what's recommended by dermatologists. This is really, really nice. It's simple. It's not irritating. Um, it doesn't have any fragrance. It's just really, really good for anyone who is on Accutane. However, I would recommend using a daytime moisturizer because you do want some SPF, especially when you're on Accutane. Um, so for that, I would recommend the Eucerin. Daily Protect Moisturizing Face Lotion. It has SPF 30, which is really, really good. Um, and it's not super heavy, so it's a little bit better for the day. These together would keep my skin very hydrated. My skin was drier than normal, but it was not like cracking and being crazy. I just got eczema and... Other than that, the skin on my face was pretty much fine. I think the reason that I never really had any real issues is because I was moisturizing very well, day and night with a lot. I would apply it very liberally. So for moisturizers, I recommend both of these. If you only want to get one, get, just get the Cetaphil. My next product is MAC uh, Mineralized Charged Water. This is like Fix Plus, but even more intense hydration. Um, I don't have a Fix Plus bottle. I just got this because um, people told me it's better than Fix Plus if you have really, really dry skin. I used Fix Plus before I was Accutane so I got this when I I got this actually like a month ago but I put this on I spray this before I put on my foundation and after and it really helps prevent creasing it keeps my skin hydrated and some nights when I'm feeling extra dry I'll spray it um, all over my face before bed after my moisturizer stuff like this this and fix plus can be used as toners because they're mineral infused it does have a little bit of a fragrance I'm hoping that's just from the ingredients and not intentional I don't see anywhere where it says fragrance free but it's a lovely 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 product and I love it just said a love a lot of times. Something like this would be really, really useful for most people on Accutane just because it is extra hydration and helps prevent creasing and, you know, it's a really great sort of multi-purpose hydrating product. It's not a finishing spray. This and Fix Plus are not finishing sprays. I cringe when I hear people say, oh, I'm using the Max Finishing Spray or Setting Spray. That don't exist. This is a refreshing spray, a toner, sort of a hydrating mist. It is not a setting spray. It does not lock in your makeup or make it waterproof or mattify it or anything. If anything, it just sort of makes a dewy finish for a little while. Um, oh yeah, also, I forgot to mention, this can be used over your makeup if it's just sort of looking dull and dry. If you're getting any like flaky, patchy areas on your makeup, spray this over it and it'll hydrate that as well. Forgot to mention that. Next, I have my Sustain Balance Eye Drops. Use nothing else but these. Um, I would use the Redness Eye Drops every once in a while, but I don't like to use those too frequently because it's very easy to build a dependency on them, especially for someone with sensitive eyes like myself. And of course, because I'm on Accutane and everything is so dry and my eyes are so dry and I'm in air conditioning all day and my eyes are extra sensitive, but this is a great product. My eye doctor recommended this to me when I went to him because my eyes were just so dry I didn't really know what to do. These are the best eye drops apparently around because they're really oily, which is really good. Um, 
if you look at the drop, it's white, like a milky white, not clear. And it's good that they're oily because it mimics the oils that your eyes produce to help keep them lubricated, thus preventing them from getting dry and red. The more you use this, the less you'll probably have to use the redness drops if you're self-conscious about it like I am. I'm very self-conscious about having red eyes because everyone thinks I'm high all the time. Not that that's a bad thing, but... I don't really smoke during the day. I just don't want people to think I'm some trashy bitch walking around and going to class and work. Hi. That's not how I roll. Um, so these help prevent it. I do these before bed, when I wake up. It's like the first thing I reach for in the morning now. Um, and just throughout the day when my eyes are getting sort of really sensitive and dry and I'm squinting a lot. Last, I do have two foundations. I tried to just pick one, but I couldn't. Uh, because I used one for like half of the regimen and then the other for the other half. So for the first half, I only used MAC Studio Sculpt. This is a fantastic full coverage foundation for very, very dry skin. It has SPF 15, which is good for Accutane. More SPF the better. Um, but the reason why this is great is because of the coverage. I would put this on in the morning and it would cover, I wouldn't really need concealer, it would cover all of my imperfections, especially during my major Accutane breakouts because we all have those on Accutane. This would cover my breakouts and it would not flake, it would not budge, it would literally stay all day. There was one night where I went out, I put on the foundation at night. Put it, no. Oh my god, I put it on at like 8 a.m. for work, and I had work for like 9.30 to 5.30. Then I went to a party that night, I did not really apply anything else. And then I was a little drunk and fell asleep, and I forgot to take my makeup off, which never happens. And I woke up in the morning, and everything was still covered. My pimples were still covered. I was flabbergasted that this lasted all day. It lasted 24 hours, basically. It has 24 hour lasting power. And it did not flake, and it looked pretty good. Like, I mean, I could see some pimples, but it looked pretty good in the morning. I was really surprised. Not that I would recommend doing that, because that is not good for your skin. Wash your face morning and night, always. But sometimes we have those nights where it just doesn't go that way. I like this because of the coverage, the longevity, and um, the way it works and looks on very dry skin. Um, it just didn't look dull, it looks good throughout the day, and it doesn't really dry out. So that's really, really great about this. Also, it doesn't crease, like, at all. It really doesn't crease. That's what I love about it. And I'll mix this into other foundations to prevent them from creasing as well, just a little bit, because it is very full coverage. And I also love to use this for my drag makeup, because it is so full coverage, so honestly saved my life on Accutane. I didn't feel bad about going out with my breakouts, because they were pretty harsh, and I was you know, put this on and it was good to go. My last product is the foundation that I've been using now on Accutane. Basically, after like the first half and my breakouts sort of subsided, I started using MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation. This also is SPF 15, which is good. This is ultra hydrating, very sort of, it is very emollient. This is great for anyone with dry skin because it does not dry out the skin. It's super emollient. It, doesn't really give a dewy finish. When you put it on, you have sort of like shiny, like dewy skin for a little bit, but it, um, especially after you powder, it'll subside after like an hour and your skin will look, you'll sort of like, I don't know, I, I think makeup looks best like an hour after you have it on because either you're going to sweat into it or if you're dry, you'll sort of absorb the extra like dewiness. So this is really, really great about medium coverage, very buildable and it cover my pimples very well. I would need a concealer and I just use the MAC um, mineralized concealer on areas where I'd need it but nowadays I don't need the concealer anymore really so um, I've just been using this and it's been amazing. I don't have this on today. Right now I am trying the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation but I just really love this foundation and I'm gonna be sad when I get off Accutane because it probably won't work for me anymore um, but it's a beautiful beautiful foundation and I would recommend this to anyone who does not have oily skin just because of how emollient it is. So just to clarify, full coverage, great for super dry skin, medium coverage, great for people who are sort of starting to get off of Accutane maybe like the second half on so keep that in mind. Anyway so those are all the products that I have for you, my sort of Holy Grail products while I've been on Accutane. I hope it really helps out. Um, you know, Accutane is not an easy thing to go through. It's very long, at least five months, which is a pretty long period of time. I'm only doing five months. Some people are on it for like a year, so, you know, it's not an easy sort of medication to go through. I really, really hope that some of these products will help you guys out. They're all really, really useful, and I honestly don't know how I would have gone through Accutane without them. I really, really needed each and every one of them. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm not just sort of picking out products that I liked. Like, I loved these and I needed them. And I still need them for the next month and month and a half or so that I'm on the medication. Anyway, so if you want to see more Accutane-related videos, maybe a question and answer, FAQ, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. 
comments, questions, or suggestions can be left in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And make sure to be subscribed so you can see all my videos as soon as they come out. See ya!